Welcome to WAN 2.5. This incredible tool lets you replace yourself with, well, anyone. Whoa, we are so cooked. What is going on, guys? Today, we are going to be taking a look at WAN 2.5. This is the latest open source model straight from China, which lets you generate image and video from a single text prompt. It even lets you swap characters in videos, so you can put yourself or anyone in any video scene, kind of like what you saw in the intro. The best part about this is it's completely free, open source, and it can run locally. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to use it. Now, if you're watching this video, I'm going to take a guess and say you're interested in both tech and AI. And if you've ever wanted to work in the tech industry but never knew where to start, I wanted to let you know about a free seven day email course that I have. I'll put a link down below for you where I lay out the entire roadmap and share everything you need to learn in order to land your first job. With that being said, let's jump into the video. We're going to start with their online platform. So if we head over to wan.video, go ahead, create a free account and log in. Once you're logged in, you should see a screen like this. This is the default explore page where it shows you exactly what everyone else has created. It shows you both images and videos. If you hover over them, they will autoplay. The videos do have a watermark in the top right hand corner so you can tell the difference between the two. And if you click into any image or video, you can go ahead and directly download it, but you can also copy the image prompt. And even more conveniently, you can simply just click this button to generate the entire thing for yourself. The WAN platform can do a lot. You can generate images from a simple text prompt like this. Now we've seen this many times before, so that's not too exciting. Likewise, you can generate video from a single text prompt, which is actually pretty good in most circumstances. The only trouble is the resolution. If we take this video as an example, it looks really good when it's small like this, but when you click into it, you lose a lot of the detail. It's only in 1080p. So you may need to upscale these to 4K using another AI tool such as Topaz AI. When it comes to both image and video, two really key things that I really liked is it can understand text and create entire diagrams for you. You can tell it to create a diagram like this and say exactly what text you want in each place, which is pretty cool. You can do things like this where you can create entire maps and infographics. As a creative, I love it. And I'm probably going to try to incorporate some of these into future videos. The other thing is animations. So little cool things like this or this are going to be very handy, especially if you're in game design and you're trying to create like asset sprite sheets. I'm excited for the possibilities that this unleashes. Now, I wanna show you my favorite feature of this tool, and that is the ability to put yourself into any video or situation. Let's have a look at two examples and then I'm gonna show you how to do it. I'm done. I am done apologizing. I am done being persecuted for my strength. You people should be thanking Christ that I am who and what I am because you need me. You need me to save you. So what? So it's not gonna be easy. It's gonna be really hard. And we're gonna have to work at this every day, but I wanna do that because I want you. I want all of you forever, you and me, every day. <laughs> okay, to get started, we're going to head over to Generate. From here, we're going to select Avatar. And instead of Speech to Video, we're going to go Character Swap. What you wanna do is upload a video that you wanna replace the character in. Make sure it's a short video because you can only do a maximum of 15 seconds and it does need to be a maximum of 1080p. You can't upload 4K. It then gives you a nice slider where you can select which portion of the video you want to select. Go ahead and hit confirm. And then you wanna upload the image of the character that you wanna replace it with. For example, in the intro, I replaced myself with this picture. Go ahead and switch it to pro. 
And this final toggle here lets you either generate it with credits or generate it for free. When you hit generate, if you're doing it for free, it will take a lot longer. It goes into a queue and it can take anywhere between 20 minutes and a couple of hours. Whereas if you're paying with credits, you do jump straight to the front of the queue. But in my personal opinion, it wasn't quite worth it. They have monthly membership plans or you can buy credits directly. I did purchase 150 credits, but what I found was every image generation cost 30 tokens. So I could only generate five images before it was completely out. For me personally, I don't think it's worth the money and I've defaulted to the free option. So just be aware of that. It's very much a tool where you set it, forget about it and come back in a couple of hours. Now, once it's done generating, you'll get an output on the screen like this. And I wanna show you some of the examples that I have already gone through. So if I filter by avatar, you can see all of the video replacement ones I've generated. Um, these are the examples you saw. One thing I found it did really well, when your character and the video subject are roughly the same in proportions and like front on, it was perfect, but it often got things in the background wrong. Like in this example, the woman looks pretty flawless, but you can see the background is all fuzzy and weird. The chair goes out of shape. Even across multiple different takes, I had the same issue over and over again, which is why I switched over to the other background, which is purely white. And that seemed to be a lot better. I was getting consistent results. So whenever you replace yourself in a video, make sure it's a plain background. Here are some more takes of ones that I didn't end up using, but you can see it does an excellent job at it. The other thing I tried is when it was full body, so you could see more than just the torso, like you could see the pants. I don't know, something just didn't feel too realistic for me when I tried these. So make sure you go close up and top half only. So yeah, that's the avatar, really cool. Uh, definitely play around with it. I'm gonna show you the video. So this is from AI prompts only. This is a top down shot filmed over Bora Bora. At a glance, it's good for throwaway shots. This will work. However, I did notice some of the physics were off. Like you can see the lighting just goes in and out too quickly with the clouds. In another example where I got Emma Watson to make a sandwich, it works kind of, but items pop out of nowhere. Like she pulls out cheese and ham from nowhere. Doesn't quite make sense. And even in this one where I fed it a fake video of me in Bora Bora and I told it to take my jumper off to reveal some really big muscles. Let me just show you what happens. Yeah, check out these guns. Whoa. It didn't quite take the hoodie off correctly. My head spins 180 degrees, so it doesn't have physics down properly you are going to have to muck around and reprompt this and try several times over. Chances are you're not going to get the desired result straight away. This is pretty cool, but we're using their online platform. So any image I upload of myself or anyone that I know is potentially being used to train their models, which I don't like. So one way we can get around all of that is to run it locally on our machine. This way we stay in control of everything and we don't have to send our data, our photos, our videos to third party companies, which is really great from a privacy and security point of view. Speaking of security and privacy, that leads me into the sponsor of today's video, NordVPN. If you're someone who values privacy and you don't want governments and other companies to track all of your movements, you really do need to get a VPN. At a click of a button, you can stop yourself from being tracked, appear from any country, and get around geo restrictions. If you wanted to check out apps like Sora 2, which are only available in the US, well, you click a button and you're magically in the US. If you're security conscious and you want to support the channel, sign up with the link down below. Thank you to NordVPN for sponsoring this video. Let's get into running this locally. As of recording, it looks like 2.5 hasn't been open source yet, but it is coming. So I'll show you how to do 2.2, their previous model. All of the steps and instructions will remain relatively the same. There's two websites I need to show you. First is their open source GitHub page. It gives you some demos and just further reading. 
It also gives you links to the models where you can download everything, and it gives you a rough idea of how long it would take to run on different hardware. Now, this is key. For me personally, I had a lot of trouble getting this to run, mainly because my main desktop PC has a very old graphics card, a GTX 1080, which means I ran into a lot of compatibility issues. So you are going to need a relatively new and good graphics card. On the flip side, I also tried it on my MacBook Pro. This has got the latest Apple M4 Pro chip in there with 48 gig of unified memory. And even then I did run into out of memory errors. So you are going to need a very powerful PC to make this work. One of the easiest ways to get started is to use Comfy UI. If you head over to this website and go ahead and download the correct version for your operating system, once that's done, go ahead and open it up. This should open up a screen similar to this. What we want to do is on the left-hand side, we have this templates button. Go ahead and click on it. And we want to click on video. These are already predefined templates that we can simply click a button and have things up and running. There are a range of different models. If you wanna use the 14 billion parameter one, you are going to need a faster PC. But if you've got something a little bit slower, they do have the smaller options here available. I'm going to show you the animate, so the exact same thing I did for the intro, and then we'll try a smaller model. We'll go ahead and click on this. Now, the very first time you, you will get a pop-up with models to download, you can simply just go ahead and click download against each of them, and it'll eventually load you into a screen that looks like this. From that original pop-up, it did fail to recognize this one single LoRa. It couldn't find the download link, so this is that download link. I'll chuck it in the description down below, just in case you guys run into the same issue. Now, down the bottom, we do have a select and a hand tool, and we're gonna be switching between them to move around. So I'll use the hand tool to move. There are some instructions here. Depending on the version of Comfy UI that you have, you are going to need to download these custom nodes. If you click on Manager, Custom Nodes Manager, you can simply search for the three that it had listed, which are these here, and install them. It's as simple as finding and clicking that install button. If you're on Windows, you are going to have this manager already installed for you, but if you are on the Mac, it's a manual once-off add-on that you will need to manually install. They do give you installation instructions here, which you can simply just click and follow. Okay, so the way this works is you've got your video size, so you set how big or small you want it. It loads the models, you tell it the prompt, so you say what you describe the video. Now this negative prompt, it's in Chinese, you can Google translate it. It's basically, I don't want ugly mutilated fingers or like disfigured kind of things, which yeah, makes sense. Nothing malicious there. This here is important. So we are going to upload our reference image. This is a character we want to replace in the video. Go ahead and find a picture that you want to use. In this case, we'll go with Matthew McConaughey. And we're going to select the video to replace. So we'll go with our introduction. Welcome to where. Yep, we'll go with our introduction video. Okay, that's too large, so I'm going to go with a smaller one. I'll go with a three second clip instead. There it is there. So once you have your photo and video loaded, we're going to go ahead and click run. This will load both the video and model. If you're on Windows, it will just work. Because I am on a Mac, I do need to change the device type. So if I head over to MPS for MacBook, if I hit run again, precision to FP32. In this section that pops up here, we're gonna select the tool and we're going to hold the shift key down and when you left click, that puts a green circle. We wanna put green circles all around the subject that we wanna replace. And then we wanna hold shift and right click. On a Mac, it's two fingers, so shift and two fingers or right click to add red circles around the background or the area that we don't wanna change. You then simply hit run and it will execute. And depending on the type of system you have, the length or runtime will vary. Unfortunately for me, this is where I get stuck and I get out of memory errors. 
and I just called it a day, but this is what you need to do. Now, I'm gonna show you how to run the smaller models, which should work on my MacBook Pro. Spoiler, it didn't work. This was my output, and when I compare that to what other people are getting online, chalk and cheese. So I'm obviously doing something wrong, or I just need to get some better hardware. So, if you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing, and maybe one day we'll get big enough that I can afford a proper graphics card. And if you enjoyed this video, YouTube reckons you'll like this one where I talk about Sora 2. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.